What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today's video, we're gonna be looking at our community combo video part 48. Now, in these videos, I do get combos from the comments below and I showcase them for you guys. Each week, I do pick one of those combos to actually be my favorite combo of the week and I do give them a thousand V-Bucks. Now, if you guys wanna be part of my next community combo video, just leave your combinations in the comments below. So without further ado, guys, let's get this combo started. Now for our first combination entry, we do have the entry from Mr. Pixaman. Now Mr. Pixaman does go with the Mecha Morty, then for the back name of his choice being the Sleek Holograph. Now for the Sleek Holograph, it does go with the primary color being yellow and the red being the Rick's Portal. Now this was an excellent choice for a back name and I really didn't think about it when I was making my Morty combos. Now you do have the portal that is famous from Rick and Morty, so having it as a back name just made perfect sense. Then for the harvesting tool, he does go with the IO Eradicator. Now the IO Eradicator itself is just a normal harvesting tool, but it does match really well, especially with the yellow glow that both the mech and the harvesting tool do share. Then for the control, he does go with the drop jet. Now the drop jet itself is just a simple control you do, do obtain during this season, and I do like it because it matches really well with the mech. Then for the glider, he does go with Rick's UFO Cruiser. Now the Rick's UFO Cruiser itself, even though it is from the same universe, is not from the same set. The glider itself just looks amazing combined with Morty. Then for the wrap, we are going to be going with the Hunter's Arsenal. Now the Hunter's Arsenal wrap just has this very cool slick design. It does go really well with the whole mech he is using and overall fits the whole thing. Then for our next combination entry, we do have the entry from El Chuba and he does go with Willow with the default editor cell. Then for the back lane, he does go with the Cuddle Bowl. Now this is an excellent choice for a back lane. The Cuddle Bowl itself matches perfectly with Willow just because it does have that all black color scheme that goes really well. Then for the harvesting tools, he does go with the inversion blades. Now for the inversion blades, he does go with the era style, the lifestyle, since it does make the inversion blades inverted. The white and black color scheme just looks really good and matches perfectly with the dress. Then for the control, he does go with the spectral essence. An amazing choice for this combination. The spectral essence itself does have this whole wind control that goes really well because it is all white. Then for the glider, he does go with the web umbrella. Now the webbrella itself matches really well with the whole Halloween theme, the color scheme, and overall it's an amazing glider. Then for the wrap, he does go with the weather black. Now again, one of the best wraps you could have utilized with the Willow. The wrap itself does have this faded white and black color scheme that is identical to that of Willow's dress and her skin tone. Then for our next combination, we do have the entry from Papercut. Now Papercut does go with the outfit Gaia, and then for the back name of choice, he does go with the wild heart buckler. Now he didn't specify what Gaia he was gonna go for, so I actually just went with the default. Then for the back thing, I did go with the buckler because again he didn't mention which edit style he was using because of the blue curse scheme it does possess. Then for the harvesting tool, he does go with the Leviathan Axe. I actually haven't seen the Leviathan Axe that much in game. It has been losing the lust it used to have before, but it's still an amazing harvesting tool. The swinging animations, the reactiveness of it, and everything about it just goes perfectly with the outfit. Then for the control, he does go with the snowflakes. Now the snowflakes just fits really well because of the harvesting tool. Each time you do swing the harvesting tool, it does get frozen, so having something to actually incorporate into that combination just was needed. Then for the glider, he does go with the bone patrol. The bone patrol itself just matches perfectly because it's from the same set, but it still looks amazing. Then for the wrap, he does go with the shield weaver. Now the shield weaver itself was an excellent choice for a wrap. The color schemes and the futuristic look of it just goes perfectly combined together. Then for our next combination entry, we do have a familiar face. We do have Kinetsu, and he does go with Mika. Then for the back name choice, he does go with the red shield. I do want to say happy birthday to him, because as I'm making this video, it is his birthday today. Now this is an excellent choice just because of the rest aesthetics from both the back thing and the outfit match perfectly together. Then for the harvesting tool, he does go with the AXE. The AXE or the axe just is a perfect match for it just because it does have this red color scheme and futuristic look. Then for the control, he does go with the hearts. Now I do love the hearts incorporated into this combination just because of the pink aesthetics. The pink aesthetics from the control itself goes really well with the pink from the hair. Then for the glider, he does go with the Retaliator. Now again, he is keeping the whole futuristic style to it, so I really do love it. Then he does have the blue thruster that actually goes really well with the blue that the outfit does have. Then for the wrap, he does go with the red line. Now the red line wrap itself does have this very cool red animation going across the weapon wrap, which actually matches really well with the red from the outfit. Then you do have the background being all white, which is a simple design, but it matches the shirt. Then another familiar face, we do have the entry from Quinky Lewis. Now, Quinky Lewis himself, he does go with the skin Galaxia with the default style, and for the back thing, he does go with Piggy Smalls. 
Now when I first saw this combination, Piggy Small was just an excellent choice. Even my wife loved this combination just because of the design of Piggy Smalls and the hair and rainbow that the outfit does have. Then for the harvesting tool, he does go with the Astrolax. Now at first glance, the Astrolax is a little bit too much, but when you're using it in game, it actually matches perfectly. The blue aesthetics with the pink and then even the purple from the shaft itself was just an excellent choice. Then for the control, he does go with the inversion. Now the inversion itself, I actually never thought about using it with this outfit, but it just matches perfectly. It does have two effects to it, the rainbow which goes perfectly with the whole rainbow aesthetics and then it does go into like a galactic black color scheme that goes really well with the whole thing. Then for the glare, he does go with the Llama Core Express. Now the Llama Core Express just looks amazing, it matches really well with the color scheme, but he does may say that the main reason why he picked it was because of the troll it does have. Then for the wrap, he does go with the Glitter Blaster. Now the Glitter Blaster in my opinion was the best wrap to actually use with this outfit. There is some other ones out there, but I do believe that this one with the whole rainbow design was just an excellent choice. Now for our last combination entry, we do have the entry from Vaporuman539. Now he does go with the entry of Chun-Li with the nostalgia get us out, and he does pair it up with the Hurricane. Now at first glance, I was actually thinking that this combo was not actually gonna work, but when I used it in game, it just looked amazing. The Hurricane backlink just matched really well because of the blue aesthetics. Then for the harvesting tool, he just go with the Loki Scepter. Now this is where I was iffy with the combination. The Loki Scepter at first, it didn't seem like it was gonna match, but then when you use it in game, the Mind Stone itself just glows blue and it just matches perfectly with the gold and blue aesthetics from the skin and the backlink combined. Then for the control, he does go with the Storm Strike. Now the Storm Strike itself does have this white lining hitting both hands and it just matches really well because of the cuffs she does have around her waist. Then for the glider, he does go with the Golden Eagle Wings. Now just an amazing choice for a glider. The gold aesthetics from the wings themselves goes perfectly with the glow from the outfit and the gold from the harvesting tool. Then for the wrap, he does go with the Blue Shock. Now the blue shock itself matches perfectly because of the lining effect from both the backlink itself and the control. Now at first glance I wasn't really sure why he was using that control but it makes perfect sense whenever you are using the blue shock as a wrap. Now for my favorite combo of the week I was actually debating between three of them which was El Chuba's and then Kinetsuku and then for Quinky Lewis. In the end of the day I just had to go with Quinky Lewis just because of the Piggy Smalls backlink. Now the aesthetics he did use match better in my opinion than mostly everybody who actually use any of the combos in their combinations. It was very hard, I even had to get my wife involved to actually try to pick one because it was very close. But we both agreed that the whole Piggy Smiles with the Galaxy was an excellent choice for a combination and there was really no flaws in that combo which I do congratulate him. Now you do have 24 hours after posting this video to actually claim your prize. If you don't claim it, I am going to skip over to second place and we'll go from there. Now all my social media will be in the description below. Now those were the 6 combinations I did pick from my community combos. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, two D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code in the AM shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.